in this video, I'm going to be creating another fall card using my Tim Holtz stencil and various distress inks, my fall break paper from Echo Park, and the card sketch from Call Me Crafty Owl. Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nikki, Little Crafty Nook, and I'm going to be using the April 2020 sheet load of card sketch. And this basically shows what it's going to be like. I am not going to put a sentiment. I'm going to let the stenciled piece show for itself. I'll be using the Tim Holtz stencil with my Distress Oxide inks. I have one regular Distress ink because I don't have an oxide in orange, but the rest are Distress Oxides. I'm going to be using a stamp for the inside out of this set. I think it's Stampendous, I'm not sure. I bought this several years ago. And for the inside, I'm going to be using Autumn Blessings. This paper is from Fall Break from Echo Park. I already cut the pieces. This is out of my stash. This is the only piece of dark brown glitter that I had, but I think it matches the trees very nicely. I'm going to be stamping the inside of the card first, and then we'll get started on the stencil. putting my autumn blessings on and we will be using early espresso There's that. And then I will be using Garden Green to stamp this one. There we go. How's that? So the inside of the card is complete. Let that sit for a minute. We're going to be putting together the front of the card here. This is going to go on this. Okay, there's that, and then this piece will go like that, and this is what I'm going to be stenciling. Okay, so let's find a piece of paper to put underneath so I don't make too much of a mess. And I'm just going to lay this down. One more piece just to give it a little more security 
And we're just gonna do whatever because fall leaves are a combination of colors, right? I don't think there's one that's just one straight color once they start turning. Okay, so what I did with these was I have one of these and several of, of the sponges themselves. I have Velcroed them on to the back of each ink. So some of them I didn't, obviously. I have a solution for that. All right, so. I need to take that down too, don't I? All right, let's start over and take this down. Okay, I'm going to take this off put it on here. That way it's dedicated. But not least, orange. Okay, let's see what we have. down just a bit. Let's see how big this is. This is three and a quarter by four and a half. and okay this isn't going to be the exact measurements of the original sketch but there we go okay let's go ahead and attach this there's 
there's always two sides to every piece of paper. So if you mess up on one side, just flip it over. Okay. Are you ready to put the card together? And I have a surprise at the end what I'm going to do more with this piece right here. I have plenty of the fall break paper left over. There we go. Okay, it was hiding. So we're gonna angle. Angle the first one, and then angle the other one the opposite way. But I'm going to pop, I'm gonna pop the stencil piece up on foam tape, or foam dots. I bought these from Amazon. made it smaller but okay so we're gonna pop this up you always find things out right as you're putting the card together <laughs> oh well hopefully that'll stay stuck in my memory storage for next time done with this and there we go Here's the front of the card. Now, the surprise that I was going to show you, I wanted to wait till the end because it takes a long time to dry. I'm going to be putting Nouveau Drops where all these little dots are. I'm going to be putting Nouveau, well, some of them anyway. Not, not all of them. Just a few to give it some more sparkle. This is Golden Sunset. This is Ruby Slippers. And some of the color is gonna show through too, inevitably. And let's do another golden sunset over here. Then we have yellow. I just see dimensional pearlescent pearl. There we go. Slow but steady wins the race. And then woodland green, bottle green. This is bottle green. Okay. 
There's our card. Like I said, I'm not going to be putting a sentiment on the front because I think this speaks for itself. And then the inside of the card, Autumn Blessings with the stamped image of the, um, I think they, uh, you would be, they would be the dandelions after everything is blown off. How is that for a fall card? Thank you so much for joining me. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye-bye.